fucking bag. One, two, three. Alrighty, so Jake, on. you can there. still lead us. Okay. I'll wait for Seb to return, I guess. <laughs> Look at Seb's setup. <laughs> it's just a recliner. <laughs> I'm sure it's be a, I swear it's just going to be a cross shot by the time he sits down. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, 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 Seb. Do the whole podcast like that. Hello, we're live. Welcome to the Cowboys for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. We have returned, and we have returned with um, someone who kind of looks like Jesus in that line, uh, Sebastian. <laughs> Hello. We have Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. And we have my other distinguished members of the the channel, Braggio and from Braggio, Lachlan. and I'm from Lachlan. It's Bragg from Paris, France, because he is a mime. I didn't know where that was going for a second. <laughs> I thought you were making a Kanye West reference. I was like, oh no. <laughs> hey Alexa, uh, no. play that song about those duelists in Paris. <laughs> Um, how was, well, it's been more than a week, well, so yeah, how yeah. has been our time in lockdown of late? Um, let's start with Brad, because I feel like it'll be short. It went wrong. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. succinct. Uh, Seb. You know, just been vibing. <laughs> okay. Let's move on to someone who may give me a proper description. Ben. Uh, I bought Chamber Dragon Maids and it brought a plague to our state. It did. Actually, yeah, yeah around the time that you got those cards, our state went into Exactly, turmoil. around the time I bought those cards. Yep, thanks for that. Uh, <laughs> and Lachlan. <sighs> um, yeah. I tried, I asked to get vaccinated today and they told me no. So, uh, that went well. Thanks, ScoMo. We can move on. Uh, Jake, how are you? I'm well. Okay. I'm well. So, like a few of you in this uh, podcast this evening, uh, the weekend just passed. I was in the remote dual YCS Europe. Um, so... Um, as far as I'm aware, that was the first real YCS, well, not YCS, the first remote dual event that's actually been open to Australians to play, right? Yes, correct. Okay. Um, and how they decided to do that was for us to start at our equivalent of 6pm, so people playing until, like, another five? 12 hours until 6am yeah. in the morning. Yeah. We were only supposed to play till 2am. 2 2 not yeah, there was that, and there was a uh, hour and a half wait. Yeah, round one and two. Yeah, games. how how long was that? Uh, round one overtime, <laughs> twice the length of the round. Twice the length of the round. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so stupid. It was dumb. I, I think it was in the um, I can't remember which server it was in, but apparently it was taking so long that someone started streaming the entire Scooby Doo movie. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like the the, public the chat, the original one, or like home. the WWE one. No, no, the new cartoon one where there's superheroes involved for reasons. Oh, the geez, WWE okay. one. I don't know. We'd have to get Josh in if we want an expert on Scooby-Doo movies. Well, my opponent Luke. was uh, from round three was watching Shrek with their friends between rounds. See, me and Bragg yeah, were just but... playing Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, look. We I made some good, the... good, good strides as well. I suppose that's one of the few... Th benefits of like, having those kind of delays because if you had that kind of delay at the real event you'd just be sort of potting around Sydney Olympic Park. I'd be making trades. Yeah, there is that. MacArthur uh, Regionals yeah. that went till fucking 2am? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, look, there's pluses and minuses to it, obviously. Like, obviously, you can sort of, like, you don't get the interaction and stuff, but at the same time, like, you're an hour and a half waiting, but you're in the comfort of your own home. It's like math, you know? Go do what you wanted. There's pluses and minuses. <laughs> At this point, are we three years into the time rules? More oh than that, I think. Oh, God. Was it 2017 or twenty? Wasn't it when the new uh, thing came out? Wasn't it the master rules that changed it? Format. 
Then it would be 2017. Then. I swear it was the ma- when it, the master rule changed, the time rules changed, right? Well, that'd be 2016. I swear it changed. Master rule changed, changed in 2017. In, I think it changed in Sky Striker Trickstar format. Because that, that event was the first event of time. I think that was 2018. Oh, no. It changed, yeah, no. It changed after Spiral format. Because I remember, yeah. like, dude was playing, like, an eight-minute combo with fucking Spiral. It could have been late 2017 fun. as well, though, right? Like, no, I, think, I think that Nats was the first event. They changed it right before. So, yeah, like, mid-2018. Yeah. So, yeah, three years. So, uh, we're still... We're what a time! Three, yeah, three years, and we still have people that are like, meh, I want to keep playing after 40 minutes, meh! I mean, to be fair, they're right, we should keep playing, but... <laughs> well, then you end up leaving MacArthur at 2am. It happens anyway. <laughs> it's not solved anything. <laughs> In fact, it's almost gotten worse... Yeah, if people could organize the events a little better, that'd be nice. It doesn't happen. Like, well, let's just have a whole bunch of people sign up to the event just for the prize support and then be like, okay, who wants to drop now? Everyone drops after round one. They Lit- go to pay round two and they're like, just so you know, all you people that dropped aren't getting your prize support. And then everyone's like, I need back in the event. Like, oh, Literally, oh the difference between uh, how it was and how it is now is that how it was, there were at least some people still playing. In the time that nothing was happening. Now it's just, we just wait. <laughs> All of us. Yeah. And you get screwed by, well, by people at playing like, Kyna. At least for 20 minutes of the overtime in round one, someone was still playing. Or like two people were still yeah, playing. Ah, yes. Like, An eighth of the time. There was still then, something going. Then after that, another 30 minutes of that was a rogue bot that was like causing them issues. <laughs> Skynet! After... Yeah, they're rising up! <laughs> Cybers. And then after that, 30 minutes was like undropping all the people that are like, oh no, I want my fucking mat and packs for reasons. Just let people buy the fucking mat. They can. After the event. After the round else. three. <laughs> yeah, for me when I resell it. <laughs> I'm. What's the mat again? It's the arm dragons, it's the yeah? Arm dragons, yeah. I might keep it. I'll what about the leg it, dragons? But, you know. Does it say remote dual on it? It does. Cool. Keep those. But it's the YCS Seb, could you make your camera it. any worse? <laughs> Give it a go. I guess you could be entirely off screen. For a... uh, I'd say that's an improvement. Is that the good? <laughs> the light right in the eyes. Alright, bro, please. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> Um, ben somehow made that worse. Got in here? I think it was just Ben and Seb and I that were in the um, remote duels event. So how did I played a winner match? My match okay. was were brutal. To be fair, yeah, I didn't have a good time. time. No, I didn't have a very good time in the main event. I had a great time in the side event, but main event, I was like, no, this is bad. Opponents open perfect interaction way too often. <laughs> yeah, there is that. When, when um, my opponent's like, I don't know what your deck does, but by the way, I have a Kaiju and Ash and a Denko. I think I won. It's like, yeah. <laughs> and then game two, they're like, oh, I open those three cards again. It's like, okay, yeah, cool. That's rough. Um, yeah, the one thing I'll say is that unbanning engage was a mistake. Yes, one hundred percent. Unbanning engage yep. was a massive mistake. Brag shaking his Nets head, but he didn't even play it. Playable. Yeah, yeah, didn't even play the event. Says it's fine. Rack has not played a single game of Yu-Gi-Oh! One, since Rack then. made it in top, top, like I top 16. I don't yeah, think they were in one yours. of the most represented decks, but they did not top at all. Yeah. Oh, it's so Kuguri. Shut your young girl down, you mistake. pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> Seb, Seb, he was talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Where is so. looking for Kinda now? Seb definitely was like, man, I played Striker when when Engage was banned. <laughs> Engage comes back to one. He's like, I don't play all the guys. Literally has max rarity Sky Striker. I, don't play uh, I need one more. No, you don't um, have Starlight, right? Starlight. Right, do you? I have one. I need another. Mm. Did you see um, MTB me. was playing um, Eldritch yeah. Sky Striker? It looked like a terrible <laughs> bro, list. He bro. said it was a terrible list, to be fair. MBT is, at the moment, my favorite... Yu-Gi-Oh content creator. I, I really enjoy that dude's content, but holy fuck, he is terrible at this game. He <laughs> he's so bad. But, like, really he's bad. so entertaining. Like, if you haven't checked him out, you yeah. should. 
But holy he, god, he is not the competitive he, person you want to go to. <laughs> he is now what Fafa used to be. Yeah, except way more funny and entertaining. Well, the thing is, Fafa also had the balance of that he was a decent player. Ish. Like, he wasn't as funny as what MBT is now, but he was, also wasn't that bad. I think he's topped one um, regionals, right? Yeah, well, that's the thing. He, I don't know if he ever played that many events. Like, he'd play on Twitch and stuff all the time, but, like, in terms of events, he very rarely went. And now he's commentating them, so he doesn't need to. MBT, come on the podcast. That'd be cool. He's not watching. Frack, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Frack's um, remembering when I tried to get uh, Slager on the podcast and he asked how much we were going to pay him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. Asian Eyes. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, it's like something Asian Eyes or some shit, right? I don't know who Asian Eyes is. Yeah, it's that guy's White Dragon. Dead <laughs> <laughs> silence. Moving on. Um, Seb, how were your matches? Well, you know. That. <laughs> <laughs> um, Seb, you were the first to drop, yeah? Yeah. Uh, maybe I dropped with them. Were you round no, four? I dropped at like round seven. Uh, okay, yeah. When he was X6. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was just a mix of. Um, I don't know. Altcast, I think, are too bricky. I'd just see hands with it all traps and a couple hand traps, and it's like, okay. I told you this I like can 80 times. Negate stuff, but I can't do stop people attacking. Yeah, that's that's always been the problem with just Altcast, use Con like, Curry. Sure, you don't need to play a lot of monsters because like they recycle each other, whatever, blah blah blah. But you need to see them, and you just yeah. don't because the deck yeah. is so trap heavy, and there's only so many times you can engage. Your mum have only got like ten life points left. <laughs> exactly. Bring Deborah into this, and if you play too many monsters, you just see. Actually, it's Deborah. Two put us in hand. No, see, there's a distinction. There's two different spellings of Deborah, and she is not Deborah. She is Debra. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to You're point the one out. Who brought my mother into this. I'd like to point out that even though this has become a video podcast this week, Jake is still trying to shuffle a deck and do test hands. <laughs> <laughs> I get bored. My hands get bored. Jerk off. That's my special private time. So how was your event, Jake? <laughs> Mine. Um, Sky Striker players can go fuck themselves. Um, and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> baby. It, 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 seem, it seems they are fucking themselves. Um, and like, I think most people that I versed were cool. Like the very first dude I versed was Australian. He had two camps set up. One of them conked out, so he had to like go to a really shitty camp afterward, and that was fine. Um, versus two Germans, a Spanish guy, and a French guy after that, I think. Um, the French guy was playing Medolce, so everything sounded quite beautiful when he said it. Um, that was the only thing that I could give him, because other than that, I fucking lost to Medolce so hard. What the fuck are you two doing? The Scanning. Gag. Sight gag. Virgin detected. <laughs> I didn't know you had a mirror in your room. Oh. Whatever you said, Jake, I couldn't hear it. <laughs> Good. You can hear it on the podcast. Um, <laughs> what is going on with Bragg's cam? I, I'm it's so that. bad. <laughs> it's really bad. This is why we haven't done a camera podcast forever. This is not why um, we haven't done a camera podcast <laughs> at all. Um, so, um, obviously another, none of us made day two. Um, I think a couple of people in our thing did, um, Joshua and Loza. Um, Josh with no other deck, that's valid, because that's all he has. Lo and Loza actually did the best. Loza did, all of us. Do the best Came 117th. Um, yeah. 117, Master Chief. Dark Magician, Dogma, Dragoon, DDD. He played DDDs, yeah. He played, he, play, he played Dark Magician, essentially. It was mostly Dark Magician. It was a very small Dark Magician engine, though. It, that was the engine, though. The rest was, like, that was the main bit. Say Dogmatic is the main bit. No. Mm -hmm. That's not what Loza would say. Dark Magician. 
I would say is. Dragoon is the main bit. There is that too. It's the main bit of most <laughs> decks at the moment. That's like if we're saying Dragoon's the main bit, then then Andrew's deck was also that. <laughs> yeah, but his was going second Dragoon. Yeah, so it's mine. Any time that he went first, he lost <laughs> his opponent. <laughs> Um, who was he versing? I think it was like a danger type deck and they made him go first and he's just like, oh, oh no. <laughs> so I think he summoned Dragoon and got immediately card used. Sounds likely. Yeah, it happens. Um, side events. Um, you said you had fun in the side events, Ben. How'd you go? What'd I you lost, lost the final of a win amount when I was playing Prankid. Prankid oh, was Prankid. much better. I played Prankid with uh, Dragoon. Where it was like, would you say Dragoon was the main thing? Dragoon won me like a lot of those games. <laughs> it was just basically what? like, oh, I'm out of resources because I stunned you out on your turn. Okay, he's a Dragoon. <laughs> I had like no prank kids names left in deck, so I tr couldn't trigger the names anyway. And it's like, okay, but hey, Dragoon win. And how come you lost in the final? What happened? Uh, well, I played against uh, Subterra. Ah. Yes. I won fun. game one very easily, and then he went first game two and just won that way, and then game three I went first, he hand-trapped the shit out of me, and then was like, uh, activate Hidden City, set fucking Guru, flip mm -hmm. the Guru, and then just activated Ref, because he can still do that. Yeah, I fucking hate that interaction, it's so fucking yeah. AIDS. Search and negate, and then activate Red Eye Fusion, even though you have a monster on board, I fucking hate it so much. Yeah, I was like, oh, I've lost. This is a game. I hate that they figured that out as well, because for the longest time they were doing ref first and then doing subterra, but then obviously like it's come up in a ruling somewhere and they're like, oh wait. Yeah, we I can, can do, do subterra things first. Let's Fucking do this. Assholes. Why not? I fucking hate subterra players. We're we'll doing so well, we <laughs> We're doing so well. Yeah. Um, Seb, did you do well in any of the side events? Yeah. Um, yeah, I got finals twice with mystic mind burn and i lost game three both finals for the winner mats That's and rough. um my last one it was the last one of the night i had to verse two strikers which is very bad for mystic mind and yeah, the last good. match was vw which have an inbuilt Ugh. trap that pops face up spells <laughs> <laughs> nice <laughs> and i figured out um I don't know, I've just figured out how to beat Striker. You just, like, get Field Barrier up, and then you Prohibition call Afterburners, and they literally can't do anything cool. if they if you get that up. And then, um, I don't know, VW, we just kept grinding, and then we got down to life at the end of it, and I'd, like, judgmented or something, and so he won. That's rough. Yep. Very rough. And Lachlan, you said you went to the, a side event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually top-aided this uh, Widomat. <laughs> oh, top eight. That's really good. Yeah, How we made the. Top I top made top cut. Um, uh, it was it was good, but then I just uh, drew one monster the entire match. <laughs> and what were you playing, Mystic Mind? No, I was just playing pure Dino Mist. Pure Dino so I ran uh, twenty Dino Mist monsters, I believe, and I drew one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Life is fair and good. Um. Yeah, and then on day two, I entered the giant card. Lost for anyone that doesn't know, real quick, winner mats are eight players only. <laughs> yeah, it was a joke. I didn't top anything. Went past, I did try and make that point by making a gag, and you just like glazed over my point. But anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, so only eight card, players <laughs> in the first round to my favorite, um, like roguish deck at the moment, Ignisters, because I wasn't planning on having to verse a four K towers. So I didn't put any like kaiju's or anything in the side. Roguish, more like um, rubbish. Because Ignistas okay. suck. They don't though. They're very bad. Flip, lose. What the dog yeah, doing? Not everyone's playing flip mechanics. Not everyone's playing fucking random ass um, amazement traps in dragon decks. What the dog doing? But they're not. It and you did, well. and you lost. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't lose to my own deck. My deck worked fine. I lost to my opponent's interaction. Sure. Anywho. Um, and then I entered a winner mat as my last event. And I was going to say, like, at that point, it was like, win or lose. That's the last one. Going to bed at a reasonable time. Because I had work the next morning. 
Um, and I won that one. So what are verse? What the Jaco doing? Um, I can't remember what decks are verse. Fuck off, brag. Um, one of them was Tri Brigade, and I just had interaction every time we went to summon a monster. Uh, the last one was Altergeist, and like I. He had me in a pretty bad way in that he had Meloseek, Silquitus, and um, Meloseek on board with um, Protocol. And I had a Lightning Storm in hand, but there was something there was something else on board that I was like, no, it's not going to work. Hexia? I think it was just like, no, he didn't He didn't make Hexia. I think he was scared of the Fleur de Lis, so oh. he just did not summon from the extra deck at all because he was scared that I was just going to summon a Fleur de Lis <laughs> and like, just start beating over things. So... Like I needed some other, I think I needed some other form of interaction to be able to bait out stuff that was happening, and then I top decked half his feather dust and already had lightning storm. I was like, yes, this is mint. <laughs> uh, feather dust did hit the back row. He changed the manifestation, brought back a Melisek, let it die, and then he went to use effect, and I changed gamma. So Duh. then I summoned <laughs> the Omega, banished the um, Conkiri from hand, so he couldn't protect him from battle, and just summoned Purgatrio and started punching into things. <laughs> I was very, yeah, very happy. that'll do it. In one of the <laughs> matches happy. in my winner map, I played against like, a VW player who ended on, like, Crystal Wing fucking... Caligo? It? It was, no, it was Crystal Wing, Chuchi, and then Dragoon? the fucking... The rank, the rank 3 that changes effects to draw. Oh, the... Uh, number 75, power. the yeah. one that actually should have gotten hit. <laughs> yeah, Gossip Shadow. Yeah. And, like, I had Lightning Storm, like, activate Lightning Storm, attack position monsters, and he just let his Crystal Wing die, and I was like, cool, I've won. <laughs> but doesn't it only protect... I think it only changed monster effects to... Does yeah. it only change monster? It only and changes does, monster effects. Does Crystal Wing well. only stop monster effects? Yeah. It only stops monster effects. <laughs> oh, so he just had no, no negation. <laughs> no. Yeah, I was like that, and then I'm like, and Cosmic, your back row, and he still didn't activate the, the Bamboozly, and I was sitting here like, are you an idiot? Yeah. No. Nah, he could have. Because you, <laughs> you no. didn't I, read. Why couldn't pick up the card and read it? I was like, it's going to change yeah, one of these effects actually, to that, say draw That was one card. really aids thing, is like not being able to actually read cards properly. Yeah. Like you get a screen this big to try and read what the fucking yeah. card is. Um, yeah, so yeah. overall, what do we think of the event? It was fine. Besides um, how shitty it was run, it was pretty good. I think... But what we got, it was all right. I don't like remote duels. Like I want to, I want to play in front of someone. Play, it was okay. I think for a start, it's fine. But like, I don't want to be like just an add-on to other regions' events and have to play at fucking stupid times of the morning. Like, if you're gonna have Australians in an event, like have us in our own event, so yeah. that we don't have to get up or like stay up until ridiculous hours of the morning trying to play a game. Um. I suppose, like, silver lining as well. Like, we're in lockdown at the moment here in New South Wales, so it's, like, convenient for us that we had nothing else to do. Yeah, we are essentially all on Discord every fucking night anyway. Yeah. Pretty much. I'd very much like to, to, like, watch a movie, but instead I'm here talking to you guys every single night. Wow, okay. <laughs> Sorry to fucking keep you, Jesus. Bro. I, I still, I've got like 10 episodes of JoJo's to go and I just... Shut I up to about JoJo's. fucking JoJo's, man. You know the feeling, Sam. Bro, he's been talking yeah. about this every sentence. I know. Has been JoJo's for the last month. <laughs> Shut up. It's more like two months, maybe three. Bro. I've been repressing it. <laughs> Uh, um, yeah. I, the thing I didn't like about remote duels is I feel as though, in person, I I can learn someone's deck faster than they can learn mine, so it gives me a massive advantage. And at remote duels, it, that like I can't just sit and read people's cards, and it's like, okay, I have no idea what the fuck's going on. Yeah. I'm just gonna be like, yeah, whatever. Uh, tell me when you're over, and then I'll start playing. The one person I versed, I made them read like, fucking every one of those chaos summoning beast cards. I made them read every single one of them. Because <laughs> I was like, I can't read this. Your screen sucks. And he was like, you want me to read it out loud? And I was like, yes. And then he added the continuous spell. And I was like, can you read that out loud for me? And then he added the little one. And I was like, you're not going to believe this. My favorite part was coming up, coming up with numbers for the people to cut their decks to. Yeah, I, was, I changed it every <laughs> time. I just started doubling whatever yeah. they said. <laughs> 
my total was seven. Yeah. I think I said 19 once. Yeah. 19, that's so I was like, so cut in half? <laughs> 19. I think the most I ever made someone do was 12. Like, I'd yeah, go I did half 12. 12. After they told me to do 12. I'm like, yeah, fuck you. Alright. <laughs> so, um, in terms of, like, what's coming up, like, obviously, hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll be back at locals and doing normal things again. But then in terms of what's coming up, uh, what are we looking forward to? Uh, I, I'm very keen for the hero set. Well, not hero set. I guess it's got hero stuff in it. Burst of Destiny. Hero's getting in more October. support. Well, it's got Destiny hero support in it. Yeah, but it's just plasma spam. Like, that's all it is. Plasma's oh, fucked. I, I'm, I want other stuff. I want the two meta decks that are coming out of it. Eh? Out of the Burst of Destiny. You've got that Burst new Synchro archetype. And you've got the uh, Flandries. I think both of them will be very good decks. New Synchro archetype? Yeah, have you not seen it? The Zhang Ji or whatever you call it? Oh. oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's not oh, the next set. The worm that's set yeah, that's in the next set after. Yeah, yeah that's so far away. That and also, Flandries good. aren't that good. I think both of them will be worth the money. I can't wait yeah, to play my my uh, Ursatic Drytron deck. <laughs> oh, so you like losing. <laughs> I don't <laughs> understand how that deck's meant to work. All I, I know is the, the fusion can spell... Be summoned on their own, right? I don't know, but all I know is the fusion spell is very good for Osartics. Oh, it's in great Drytron. for Osartic. It does nothing for Drytron. Yeah. There's a fusion spell in Drytron? Now there is. Yeah. So the fusion spell uses the two field spells of each deck. It doesn't what? use monsters. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah and they both uses, have to be on the field at the same time. It uses Big Dipper and the whatever the Fafnir. It uses those. As Specifically, the, the those material. two is the material. Those two, Big Dipper so, and so they work together. They are designed to work together as an archetype. I don't. I think no. this is like a <laughs> overlap. I don't think they actually work together. I think it's just that the fusion monster considers itself both an Arctic and a Drytron monster, and it does things for both archetypes, but they don't actually overlap as archetypes. Because I'm pretty sure the Earth Arctic can be normal summoned, therefore they don't work in Drytron. Let's read an Earth Arctic monster. I'm gonna say yes. Uh, you would yes. be correct. They can be. Well, I mean, kind of. You're correct. Like, they can be tribute summoned. Well, yeah, that means yeah, so that's they the can't thing. be played so Drytron. They can't be used in Drytron at all. Well, you just can't summon them, right? Yes. Sure. And what else do they do but summon themselves? I mean, you can summon you can summon the extra deck once. Yeah, I guess. Okay. If you can get a level. Look, I'm not gonna lie. It just modern. doesn't work. Okay. It doesn't. It just no, doesn't work. I don't. I don't understand the overlap. The only thing I can possibly think of is in the manga where I think both these archetypes come from. There's a conflict with them because it looks like that in the fusion card artwork. It looks like it looks the like bear's shooting bears. at. Yeah, it looks like the bear, like the little one, is shooting at the Drytron ship. But beyond that, I don't understand it at all. Wait, there's another Drytron fusion? Eh? Yeah. There's Drytron fusions. Again. Yeah, this one says... I didn't know these exist. Uh, Drytron Gamma plus Drytron Delta. Uh, Wait, must be in the manga? special summoned by sending the above materials you control to the graveyard. Is it in the manga? I don't know. Where have uh, we found this? Tribute one Tribute ritual monster. Or one Drytron monster in your hand or field that you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Monsters you control cannot attack your opponent directly for the rest of the turn, except this card. Also take control of the targeted monster until the end phase, but its uh, effects are negated, uh, and its attack becomes 3,000. Also, its name becomes the same as the name for the fusion. Uh, you cannot special summon monsters except monsters that can't be normal or special summoned the turn you activate this effect. Uh, yes, I'm pretty sure this is from the manga, because there's no artwork for it whatsoever. I've never heard of it before. And somehow it's a level 4 fusion with 3,000 attack. Oh, this is a fake. This is, wait, this is just a... You just read someone's fake card? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, card, you get a card okay. make a wiki. <laughs> it was read on the podcast. I, I've been rickrolled. <laughs> if, if a card is read on this podcast, it is illegal for play. So what's the fusion called? 
What's um, cold dog doing? What's the dog doing? What the dog doing? Um, it's got some AIDS name. It's like some mixture of Earth's Arctic and Drytron. It's called Earth's Arctic Drytron. Wait, no, that's oh, the fusion spell. That. Yeah, there you go. That's fucking dumb. It's anyway, called anyway, Ursatron, the celestial yeah. polar Illuminar ship. Yep. <laughs> Illuminati <Yep>. confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's weird. I don't understand it. Definitely not my favorite support. That's been it doesn't it. work. <laughs> Must no, be special summoned with this card. Once per turn, if another effect wants to do a special summon to your field, you can add an Ersartic or Drytron monster from deck to hand. Once per turn, you can target one of your banished Ersartic or Drytron monsters. Add it to like if it if it uh, if it stopped you from like having that effect. That's like if it was like you can summon fucking Ersartics under the Drytron restriction, then I could see something. I think it's just like they've gone like, oh, Earth's Arctic needs support. Oh, Drytron needs support. I can't be fucked designing two cards. Drytron does not one. need support. <laughs> kind of does. It's not that good. Like, people that say it is are wrong. It's okay. It's fine enough to not it's, require it's more support. Okay. Like, it definitely doesn't need anything unbanned or unlimited. It can stay as it is. Wasn't there, like, a third card that's coming out with this? All X-Trackers. No? Yeah, I swear it was... It's Drytron Lee Ray Kagari. <laughs> Add back the confusion. <laughs> Drytron's Howling. When this, when this card is Link Summoned, add <laughs> Sky Striker Mobilizing Gauge from deck to hand. Also summon Herald of Perfection and add two fairies from deck to hand. Add Eva and the uh, orange light. Okay. Holy oh, shit, Eva someone just posted light. a bunch of non-safe for work uh, field centers in the Kyber Corp auction page. <laughs> Seb, yeah. get on it. Get They're on. really <laughs> gross. Fucking, uh, Ugh. Anyway, ah! In terms of upcoming support, I'm looking forward to the agent fairies structure reprint you were just saying today that uh, that support was so shit <laughs> it's really shit I didn't, I didn't say it was shit you did i said one of them was good i said one of them was shit exactly it's just the link two that's bad you're a link two it's all bad when when jake was like man all the counter fairy stuff that needs a reprint's getting reprinted i was like oh remember when that all got reprinted in the counter fairy structure, structure and no deck. one bought it <laughs> Yeah, no, because the Counter Fairy deck itself was garbage, but now, like, um, Eva, fucking, um, Orange Light, the fucking other card, I can't think of what it is, the one that counts itself as Sanctuary in the Sky, but isn't a field spell, like, yeah. they're all getting reprinted in that. It's so good. I'm looking forward to it. And also, you fucking played Ice Barriers and spent money on them, so go fuck yourself. Oh, yeah, it's fucking hot dog <laughs> shit. Played that for a purpose, though. Yeah, I'll play mine for a purpose. <laughs> yeah. Win. I wanted to spend three months trying to pull a fucking Swap Frog. <laughs> yeah, and you... Should we got the set, it was a common name. <laughs> oh, yeah, it probably would have been cheaper. To just go and spend $300 on a booster box of fucking... Sovereign Victory or whatever the fuck it's called. Oh, hang on. No. Hmm? Brag. He, he Brag wasn't sure. To he he's gonna, he's gonna look it up. He's gonna look it up. <laughs> he's gonna fact check me. It's Stardust Overdrive. Okay. Well, all I know it was S O B whatever. Oh, what the rat's doing? <laughs> Anywho, um, so hopefully we'll be doing these a bit more regularly. <laughs> oh, bye, Seb. Seb. Um, <laughs> hopefully we'll be doing these a little bit more regularly of late. Um, so feel free to ask us any questions. Um, we actually have a question. There is a question. Edwin's yeah. Well, we have one? I can oh, yeah. I can read out yeah. Edwin's questions. We got. Well, he's at, in true Edwin's yeah. fashion, uh, his nice questions thing. are half the page. Um, so <laughs> it's like three different questions. It's fine. My my page is small. No, I'm joking. We love the questions. <laughs> uh, ben asked, "What the dog doing?" To which Edwin said, "Woof." What the dog doing? Uh, then he said, "Did you ever answer my question about the gincident? We did, we but did. it didn't come out. <laughs> it didn't. No, but look, it's so late." Uh, 
opposite what we think about. What did we say? We said we didn't like. Oh yeah, no, I don't. He was that. scum or something. Yeah. Like I can understand the Anything theory behind it, but yeah, he's a scumbag. Yeah, Patrick Hoban also. I think this is where I said that he made that website where he was like ranking the top duelists, and he put himself at number one. Oh, uh, That's so which was pretty funny. But uh, outside yeah. of that, uh, yeah, he's a scumbag. Uh, Brad yeah, had more to say. In, in that time as well, he was using. I, I think I remember talking about this. I must have been in the room for it, and that he also was using the blog to influence people to play w uh, bad decks, and then he would run side cards. Yeah. Like, based on short. That is so aids. Yeah, that dude's a scumbag. Bad. Yeah, he just yeah he went to a different way of playing, and it's just like, oh, okay, so everything you say from here on out should not be regarded at all. For him to do that, like he's used every advantage, whatever. But now you now you've you've blown your load. What what are you going to do now? Ask what myself that every night. <laughs> and we and I mean. Well, his credit, we know what he went on to do. Become a shill for Hillary Clinton? <laughs> that is literally what he did. Didn't he? Um, and he lost he... about fucking 800 kilos. Work on the campaign in Florida? I don't know. Well, if that is the case. Who, yeah, who was... Yeah, <laughs> good one. <laughs> good one, buddy. <laughs> You're killing it. Um. Anyway. Yeah, that's what we think about the gin incident. Patrick Hoban, pure scum. He can come on to defend himself if he wants to give us clickbait. Um, are there any relatively new archetypes you have taken an interest in or are looking forward to what are the upcoming archetypes? No. Agents. <laughs> that, that's not a new archetype that's existed for years and it's always been dog shit. Um, you, you, you. I know where the fuck just... you live, you piece of shit. Agents were good. How dare you? They were you. meta. Nah, yeah. fuck agents. Agents are what? Just do. <laughs> People are fucking retarded. Yes. Um, I'm excited for Flunder. Flunder bad. Flunder lose to Imperm. Flunder lose to Ash. They lose to fucking everything. Activate hey, now, double now, summon. On your side. I'll play double summon all you fucking want. That is fucking bad, and you know it is. Nah, it's fine. The deck revolves around normal no. summon. Why not have two? <laughs> so bad. Because that's what the fucking deck's supposed to do on its own, Ben. Yeah, you're you playing double summon, it, you just keep going. the argument. You, like, activate double summon? Here's another summon. Can you activate Gamma under Lancia? Yes. Why? Because it, it banishes an end phase. Field. Yeah, but that's part of the care. same effect. No. It's the end phase, it doesn't care. I'm excited <laughs> for Prank Kids. He's finally going to get it. Sick. He's finally going to get it. We did a Prank Kid Theory session. That's Seb's pump. Well, if we're talking about new archetypes like Prank Kids, I'm very excited for Dido Mist. Oh, um, I am getting good support in Breakers of Shadow. <laughs> no, it's coming out in Breakers <laughs> of Shadow. It's getting good support in uh, uh, TW. Breaking Tempest? Yeah. And no, Invasion Vengeance. I thought Mega wasn't Howling in. Howling was Invasion Vengeance, right? I have no idea. Oh, that was Toad. I don't How know. How would we know? Anyway, um, okay. Next question. Now that Engage is at one, what are your thoughts on Sky Striker? Is it overhyped or actually a contender in the meta? I think Sky Striker is great and everyone should play it. I'm definitely not doing a Patrick Hoban right now. <laughs> I, I, I think it's overhyped, but it is really annoying. It's very it's annoying it's, for decks that oh, are not Dino Mist. It's, 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 it's conversion rate at Euro WC at Euro YCS was miserable. Yeah. So. Second most represented deck, like fucking four decks from Enter Top Cut, one made it top sixteen. And everyone's like, oh Ben Engage. <laughs> Shut yeah, up. Yeah, Ben Engage. <laughs> ben it should engaged. it shouldn't be there. It had its time already. It shouldn't be there. Yeah, like how long was fucking Sky Striker in the format? Like what? Two years? How yeah, long is it off. We don't need it. In formats. <laughs> well, it, never won it never won anything, whereas Sky Striker won everything. I mean, didn't it win shit when Invoke no. Shadow was first out? No. I swear yeah, the only, it the dominated only event that, two that it ever yeah. won was because of the bad <laughs> ruling they made with the field spell. Yeah, that was, that was bad. The fucking awful never should have been done 
fucking ruling. And that's the only reason this should all ever, like, won an event. It's almost like, like ruling that you can summon Zeke off your, uh, off your ray. <laughs> Bro, that's, oh, yeah, that's so bad. They got that leg up, even though, like, who the fuck's playing rivalry? But, like, yeah, they got okay, that leg up. Yeah. It's just like, oh, yeah, I have a dark target that I'm not legally allowed to summon, but also I can tag out. They, they were legit, like, we're going to make this ruling, despite the fact that we already know you can't do this, for, uh, for, for something that is going to happen once. <laughs> All you know, event. Like, the salad players are going to be playing Gozi. What salad players back, play is playing play Gozi? Gozi? The funny they, thing I found about that was, build. though... Yeah, they're the playing my thing... $100 build. <laughs> the thing that I found funniest about it, though, is, like, people were then citing other, um, like, possible interactions that were, like, exactly the same sort of thing. Yeah, like, and it was being ruled the other way. Garbage decks, and they're like, no, we're only doing a physique. <laughs> Legit. In the fact, they were like, so, my thing is worded the exact same, and it's the exact same. And they were like, no, this only works for Zeke. We want Sky Striker to do well, we so people will buy it when we release the Starlight Engage. Like, that's that's the whole thing. They wanted Sky Striker to do well so that they could sell a Starlight Engage and then ban it a year from now. That is one card that never got, like, a high rarity print. Like, the rest of fucking... Secret's pretty like high rarity. rarity. Yeah. I'm, a three know, per K but secret? Like, it got an ultra after that, and then it was, like, accessible as fuck. They should release it in common. Tank the value. <laughs> Fucking brag. But then you have to choose which do you play, the secret, the ultra, or the common. One of each. Fucking common every day. <laughs> I really don't like this tap to speak fucking process that you're going through. It's fucking AIDS. Gay. You don't you don't want to hear me breathing. <laughs> I'm swearing at creepers. That's oh, what he's that's doing. He's playing yeah, Minecraft. Minecraft. You're multitasking. You're being a piece of shit. Alright, there's another question that's loosely related. Um he said If Engage and Stelio can be at one, why not Harp and Colossus as well? Well, yeah. I agree. Harp and deck. Colossus. Colossus can fuck off. No, Harp and Colossus, yeah, Colossus. Electromite, Masterpiece. All should come back. What if it's Konami being like, you know, you guys didn't really get to play anything after the last Australian YCS when we banned everything? Here's a little bit of it back because we're going to start doing in person events again. No. Give us it all back. Give me Electromite. Yeah. <laughs> Give me fucking Electromite, please! <laughs> Let me be interested in this game again. Stop making me play fucking mid-tier. Mid-range bullshit fucking Magic the Gathering decks, essentially. I don't wanna! <laughs> Shut up, Jake! I'm very <laughs> confused by what deck Lachlan ever wanted to play in Yu-Gi-Oh. He did Dino play Striker for a bit. Nothing else. I played Sky Striker. Like, I played fucking. I played Pendulum, Pendulum Magician. Combo. He complains about You did, about but that was control. only after I told you to play Pendulum Magician because you were yeah. playing some other garbage beforehand. I was playing Dot of Mist. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and you. Oh, no, that's, bel that's below mid tier. That's like. Uh, yes, yeah, and you yeah. played as I play it is, is a perfectly mid tier deck that OTKs. Your Senju. Flunder. I don't well, know what Flunder is. Flunder is. bird that continually normal summon. normal summon. Ah, I see, yes. What have you normal summoned time. six times on your turn? How do they normal summon? Do they have to have a normal summon to do it? I think they normal summon, and they you normal get another summon normal summon. Of a, of a beast warrior? Of give you another Flunderies normal. off of Flunderies. So you okay. have to open the ben, we'll work it. We'll work amazing it. Amazing normal summon combo of normal summon, wait for negate, Double summon. Here's the thing, normal is that, um, summon, normal summon, normal summon. uh, your senjus don't really do anything. No, they normal summon. <laughs> they do normal summon, and guess what? They have an in archetype, uh, double summon, too. And then they normal uses. summon. However, you see, the problem with that is, it's bad. <laughs> normal summon. Okay, the one um, thing I, I agree, is all that of they those cards that got benched. Yeah. Yes. All of those um, cards I, that got banned should come back. To what? I don't know if except Colossus engage and back. probably Stalio, I reckon they can stay. But yeah. the other ones are probably better to come back than those. Oh wait, they chose the two worst fucking cards to come back out of the ones that got banned. How is, is masterpiece banned? <laughs> 
just how like, yeah engage and dragoon exist but masterpiece is banned pendulum have not topped a single fucking event for almost two years i don't know there's a pretty good sulfur cord player on the weekend who uh main decked rageki and magic cylinder <laughs> That was my first Jeez. round of the winner card. And Sulphur Court actually have some decent cards, but not many. Like, they have one that sets scale from deck. Woo. You know what I think needs to go back on the ban list? Symbol of Heritage. Yeah. Broken yeah. at three. Oh, yeah. I saw that continuously on the weekend. Yeah. I, I, there was never a board without it. I, I think maybe they should put at one point, just bounced it. Oh, Toad shit. and Buster Dragon back to one. And then immediately remove that. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. I Who is running the? Why? What? <laughs> Jerome, what are you doing? <laughs> um. Also, I think Malicious should come back to three, briefly. And while it yeah, goes to go three, put Rat to two, and then when Rat's at two, put Rat put back to back. one, and Malicious no, back to two. Then zero. Rat, rat at two would wreck our format right now. Rat to two. Borbo to uh, zero. No, it would, because then they just make fucking... They have the second material, so then they just for free make you topping future dragon. Nadir to zero. Why do you do this to me? Anyway, he's got another question. Uh, um... Would you break down your door when you lock yourself out of during a remote YCS only <laughs> yeah. to miss out on top 32? Mm. Well, that's the thing. My door doesn't lock. That would be me at every major event. Yes. Breakdown door. Failed the top. <laughs> I mean, look, either I'm failing to top, but I had a chance because I kicked down the door, or I failed to top, and I'm kicking down the door out of anger. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the options. Bragg, would you kick down your door to, I don't know, yell at a Minecraft creeper? Yes. <laughs> it's not as dramatic when you have to do it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take us out, Jake. <laughs> all right, thank you all for listening and watching. Um, please uh, have any comments or questions in our Discord. We'll um, endeavor to get back to you on the next one. I don't know why Seb's waving like we're on the fucking end of play school. Um, uh, yeah, and we'll see you next time. Bum, 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 bum. <clears throat>